Okay, so let's work now on 7.3.3, fix a network connection. You are an IT administrator for a small corporate network. The person using the Office One computer has called you and said they can no longer access the network or neither the internet. You suspect that the user has been adjusting their computer on their own. In this lab, your task is to diagnose and fix the problem. It says you will know you have fixed all the issues when the Office One computer camping to Office Two DNS server. Okay, so let's go to Office One. So we are now in Office One. So let's see what are the issues. Okay. So he says there's no internet. So I'd always start by checking the cables. So let's see the Ethernet over here. So I am going to click on the Ethernet and it's not connected. So let's connect to the wall, turn this to the front. And now it, this might have fixed the issue, but let's click on search and then write settings. Click on settings and then go to network and internet, then go to ethernet. Let's go again. So it says no internet, even though we've connected the ethernet, it's not connected. So let's click on ethernet name. So when I continue reading the instructions, why you troubleshoot this issue, consider the following. So it says the network does not have a DHCP server. So when I'm scrolling down, it say the IP address is assigned automatic. So this is a mistake, right? It shouldn't be because there isn't a DHCP. So we can change it to manual, then click on the IPv4. Then we need to add those details manually. So, okay, this does not move. So we're going to find everything on exhibit. Move exhibit to the side, minimize this, and then move this a bit further. So let's start with these details. So let's have a look. So let's start with the getaway because it's the easiest one to find out. So the getaway, it's 192. So 168.0.5. So what is a getaway IP address? So imagine you live in a building and the building you've got flats. So each flat has their own door. So that is the private IP address for each flat. However, this building has one main door, which is the getaway to the street. Right? So if you have a look here, the office, probably all of them have their own doors. However, all of them have one main door that takes them out to the public internet. Right, which is the last one, which is this one. Okay, I hope this explains what a getaway is. Then let's find the IP address. So here it says it's from 1 to 30. So we, I would go with 192.168.0.28 because I don't want to take the 30 because it's the maximum, neither lower. That would work. Then the subnesk, I would add 255. 255.0.0. Then let's scroll down to the preferred DNS. So we've got here the DNS servers. The preferred is the closer to the office. So this would be the preferred one. So 163.128.78.93. Then the alternative is the other one, which is a bit further. So it's one. 163 sorry 128.80.93 okay so we can click on save and now let's go and check if we've got internet now that we've done this step so click so it's connected okay so that's a really good sign however let's go back to the steps so configure that might be more than one problem. Okay, actually there was two problems. The cable was not connected. And then the second one, the DHCP was automatic and we've changed it to manual. And then it says to make sure that it works. So let's double check that this works. Let's open it. Okay, let's try for example, the BBC search, All right? It works. But then it said over here that to make sure everything is connected, you need to ping it to Office 2. So let's ping the DNS. So right over here, terminal, click on it, and then let's ping, let's open exhibit again, move it to the side, minimize the instructions so you've got more space to work. Move this a bit further, and let's start with pin. 
So pink, I'm going to start with the DNS. So 163 to 128 to 78 to 93. Click enter. All right, so it works because it said it sent four packages, received four, none are lost. So that means it works really well. Now let's ping the IP address. I'm going to choose 198. Oh gosh, 192, my apologies, dot 168.0.30. And this one also works. So it's sent for, received for, nothing is lost on the way. So it's perfect. With this, we would have achieved this lab because we've done all these steps. So let's score. And you've got 100.